What was that? I don't know, pressure cooker explosion maybe? <laughs> pressure cooker, do they even still make those anymore? Of course they do, they're not like from the 70s, although this place might have one. I didn't realize you're such an aficionado on pressure cookers. Who cares, we're here for the pie anyway. They don't serve pie here. Oh, but they do. Is there anything else I can get you boys this evening? Actually, there is. My awesome brother here would love to have your number. Come on, man, don't do this. Why not, man? She seems like an awesome chick, and I haven't seen you with any girls in forever. So I'm sprinkle some water on that drought. By embarrassing this poor girl and myself? I mean, can you please just leave it alone? I can come back if you like. No, no, no. Just stay there. My brother's just shy, and I'm doing this because you're my brother, and I want to see you with someone. Debbie and I, we love hanging out with you, but we want to see you meet someone and settle down. You want to find me someone here at, at a diner that's name is actually Diner. <laughs> and pulling me off on some waitress? No offense. None taken. What's up? What's up? Is I'm gay. What? Gay? If you're gay, I'm... I'm... Well, I'm not gay, that's for sure. Look, I know how you are, but I didn't know how you'd react, and... I didn't want to tell you this at the Salmonella Inn. Again, no offense. It's okay, you're not that far off. But... Hey, look, listen. I have met someone, you know, and... I haven't brought them around because they didn't quite know how you would react. But but if you're serious, you know, and, and you know, you want to see me happy, then maybe I'll bring them around sometime. I do want to see you happy. And if this is how it is, and this is how it is, I'm just shocked. You used to tell me about all the blondes you used to date. Yeah, guys come in blonde too. Hey, you keep it. I think you've earned it. So what do you say? You want to get out of here, get some beer in you? I should have known you were gay. Why is that? You called our appetizer a moose boosh. It's not because I'm gay, that's because I'm well read. But then I banged our English professor. Mr. Johnson? Yeah, he definitely lived up to his name. Are you fucking kidding me? Say cheese. It's what you say when someone's about to take your picture, and Sarah is patiently waiting to take the thing. Say cheese? Say cheese? You just broke up with me, you ass. I don't want to say cheese. I want to murder you, you lousy fuck. Hey, I just wanted you to have a happy birthday memento to remember. Why would I want to remember this? Why would I commemorate the moment my boyfriend of five years dumps me on my birthday? My birthday! You can't even wait till tomorrow? I thought it would soften the blow. There's no softness to this blow. You couldn't even take me somewhere nice. The steak was microwaved, the mashed potatoes were boxed, and we had to listen to a very burly man come out of the closet to his brother. I actually like that part. You're the biggest jerk on the planet. I supported you for four years while you went to school. I stayed with you when you had your nail gun accident and couldn't have sex for a year. I even stuck it out through your online gambling problems. And let's not forget about the incident with my sister and the shower. I know I haven't been the best boyfriend. The best boyfriend? You're in first place for the worst person alive. Hey, first place is good. You know what? This is not ending your way. This is ending my way. I'm done with you and all of your bullshit. So you know what, Frank? Say cheese. I'll just leave this with you. I just had coffee. So are we splitting this or... What'll it be, folks? What do you want, Bunny? Spaghetti. For the thousandth time, they don't have spaghetti here. This is a diner. You don't have to shout, Bob. 
I can hear you. Okay. Well, what are you going to have? I don't know. I'm not even that hungry. I'm only out this late with you because you said you were hungry. I'll just have a tea. And for you? I'll have the spaghetti. Okay. Bob, doesn't she look like Brenda? The Broncos lost again. Bob, did you hear me? Bob, Bob, did you hear me? Bob! What? I said, doesn't she look like Brenda? Who? The waitress. She looks kind of like our daughter, Brenda. You know our daughter? I know she's our daughter. Do you know Brenda's our daughter? Of course I do. What kind of question is that? Well, you didn't know her this morning when we called her for her birthday. You thought she was a telemarketer. You told her to fuck off and stop trying to sell your subscription to Vogue. I just don't like Vogue. They dress these girls up like whores. I don't want to see whores. Brenda's not a whore. Why would she want me to subscribe to Vogue? She didn't. We called her for her birthday. Why didn't we do something for her birthday? Because we always mess it up. We either forget or we get her the wrong gift or Remember when she had the allergic reaction to that puppy we got her and she missed part of the sixth grade? Poor thing. Well, we should have called her then. We did call her. She had a wonderful evening planned with her boyfriend. I think he was going to take her to a diner or something. This is the best I could do. Hope you enjoy. I thought you had plans with your boyfriend tonight, sweetie. How did you know about that? It, it's all right, sweetheart. She thinks you're our daughter, Brenda. Oh, <laughs> is there anything else I can get y'all? No, thank you. This isn't even today's paper. What day is this? It's our daughter's birthday. You know, our daughter, Brenda. Doesn't she look kind of like Brenda? Who? The waitress. Doesn't she look like Brenda, our daughter? Yes, I know she's our daughter. Do you know Brenda's our daughter? Took you long enough. Did everything go to? Holy fucking shit! What the fuck did you do? You weren't supposed to kill her. All you had to do is wait till she left for the night. Well, it's not my fault. She said I talked to the customers too much. You do talk too much to the customers. Well, it was the way that she said it. So you shoot her? What about the customers? I'm sure somebody had to have heard a loud explosion back here. And where'd you get a gun? Why'd you bring a gun? I didn't even know you owned a gun. It's a 22. It's barely even considered a gun. Gun. She brings a gun. A simple fucking plan. Manager leaves at night. We take money. Lots of money. Money that never gets deposited. Easy. Simple. It's... it's not that bad, sweetie. Stop talking like I'm not here. Three months. Three months of planning. Get her the position. Check. Get the manager's confidence. Check. Get the combination to the oldest safe on the planet. Fucking check. Gary, stop. You're making me angry. I had to suffer through microwaving a lot of people's food tonight. You're angry? Really? You're angry? I'm angry. We had a plan. A plan I came up with way before I met you. I could have done it myself. The bitch didn't fire me first. Then I meet your crazy ass online. I should have known all you online chicks are nuts! That's not very nice, sweetheart. I'm not going to jail for this bitch. I can get out of this. I'm gonna be fine. Just gotta think. Fucking crazy ass bitches. Hey, Gary. Say cheese. <laughs> <laughs>